love a good fight. Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants attacked recently and, and carried off some of our friends. Come in. Just don't cause any trouble, okay? They're out there. I can feel it. Uh, what? You? I gave you the welcoming speech. There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. Nearby? There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. There's nothing here but the stench of death and the threat of attack looming over every sunset. Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements, and jerky, erratic, excitable movements, both coming for the kill. Sometimes you'll see small, tired dots on the horizon instead of angry, anxious ones. Those are settlers who come here from lamplight. The poor fools. Later. I haven't slept in weeks. Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep kidnapping people. I thought growing up was a good thing. You got to leave and explore the real world. Well, nobody tells you that the real world sucks. At first, we just paid the slavers to leave us alone. When we ran out of money, Red found other ways to convince them to leave us alone. But now she and the others are gone. Super mutants attacked and carried them off. No one knows when they're coming back, or who will be next. They took them to the north, to the police station or something. Do you think you could find them and rescue them? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. We don't have much, 
But if you can bring them back alive, we'll give you everything we can. Oh, they're somewhere to the northeast. In a police station or something. Thanks for rescuing our friends. No. Red used to run a medical clinic, but super mutants captured her in the last attack. Whenever those... things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. No one knows what happens after that. No one wants to know. There's... there's always so much blood after they come, and then someone has to... move the bodies. Oh, Little Lamplight is where most of us came from. Red and Pappy and Flash and Bittercup. We used to play together when we were kids. Then, we got old and we had to leave. Those were the rules. So we packed up and headed here, like we were supposed to. No one told us it would be like this. We never have fun anymore. And most of us... Most of us are dead. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. Oh. Another soul to add. Oh, hi there. I'm Bittercup. Finally! Someone who doesn't judge me! You know, the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like, just because I'm different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with that girl? God. It's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here, and he was like, Big Town will be safe. But it wasn't. This place is always under attack. But I don't date liars. So I dumped his ass and got with Flash. But that didn't last very long. Me and Time Bomb were a thing for a while, too. There's a police station up there to the northeast or something. Bury our friends' corpses if you find them. I've got enough ghosts haunting me. Oh yeah? What is it? Um, not that I care what you think. That's why I never go out during the day. The moon has such a better shine to it than the sun. Uh, seeing anyone right now, are you? Oh, um, well, I need to get going, but come back and visit me sometime, okay? A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. I told her things would be safe here. How was I supposed to know all those stories were bunk? Then she dumped me. Called me a liar. I was lied to myself, all right. Well, that didn't matter to her. Then she started dating Flash and got all spooky. Good riddance. Well, if you feel like dying, go right on ahead. They're up there at some police station near Germantown. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Yeah, I can do it. We got two things to do in this town. Suck and die. No one ever makes it in this place. You won't find any stores to loot here. Yeah, you're telling me. Everything that could go wrong goes wrong. The super mutants and slavers seem to take turns beating the crap out of us. There's no way for us to fight back, so we just keep building barricades around town. Now nah, we've been pushed back all the way. Nowhere left to run now. Most of us came from Little Lamplight. We got too old, so they kicked us out. Brats. Always heard stories about how great Big Town was, where the grown-ups go. But there's nothing here except death and sand. We're all gonna die! Our entrenched leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, prestige. And it may 
made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my... You saved my life. Thank you. Damn. What... what happened? Wow. That's... you saved my life. Thanks. You're a good person, you know that? All right. I'll be careful. I promise. I haven't slept in weeks. Those assholes in Lamplight said that this place was great. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. They both come in here, drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? There aren't many of us left. There's me and Pappy. Red runs the clinic, but she's been taken by the mutant. Kimba does what she can. And there's Bittercup. She's just about as useless as a human being can be. Time Bomb was hurt in the last raid, so he's out. That's about it. The mutants and slavers have taken everyone else. Just us and a couple of guns are all that's left. Yeah, yeah, you're a scary... Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much... Try Germantown. They always come up from that way. Bring lots of guns and shoot the hell out of those muties. I'll hold down the fort here. Oh, man, don't even go there. you think a girl like that would be more, you know, adventurous. But that's a dry well, my friend. All she does is talk about how she hates everyone else or how dark her clothing is. A guy can only take so much of that before he snaps. Poor Pappy got the worst of it. I swear, he's gotten even more depressed since she dumped him for me. As if being here wasn't bad enough. Look, the only place to go is the town hall, and that's just a meeting spot for us. There aren't any traders or anything around here. We all used to live in a place called Little Lamplight, but they have a rule about age. You reach 16, and you're out. Didn't matter, though, because you just pack your things and head to Big Town. All the adults go there, and there's plenty to eat. Plenty to eat, all right, if you like eating bullets. I've lost count of how many times I've been shot at. Keep an eye out for muties. Cut it out. 
and soul of America. But only together, together, can we hope to reach our full potential. The way we were before the war. Whole, beautiful, powerful. One enclave. Things are going well with you today, sir. So What do you need? I can get your fix. Anything? Another satisfied cu-
help me. I'm... I'm alive! I can't believe it! I'm alive! Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. You're right. Thank you.
body parts to hang around. Why don't you eat those instead? Thanks. Who are you? Never mind, I don't care right now. Let's go get Red and get out of here. You lead, I'll follow. Let's go. Move it. All right, move it. Hell yeah! I'm right behind you. No more talking.
No more talking. Get the hell out of here! You're rescuing Shorty and me? Thanks! I thought we were goners for sure. I think the others are dead. Or worse. Me too. I'm extremely lucky you came along. Everyone else is dead or taken away to who knows where. Let's hurry back to Big Town. The Wastelander from Germantown. But I was life treating you. He rescued me at least. I told Our you hero could do returns. It. Thanks for helping us. I just hope we can survive another attack. Probably won't. 
You've seen those super mutants and their appetite? There's no way Big Town will survive with them around. From the look of things, I'd say a super mutant sat down in a ditch one day and shat out this town. I dragged myself here from Lamplight. I didn't believe all the stories about Big Town, but I wasn't about to let everyone else go there without me. A few dozen attacks on the town later, and here I am. Almost an ingredient in a super mutant chili cook-off. If those muties try to take me again, I'll give them something to worry about for a change. You didn't listen to me. You never listen to me. Whew. I'm glad to be safely back home. Right, of course. Rescuing me was a job to you, and you're a real professional. Well, here you go. I wish I had more I could give you. Well, I guess you can have this. It's the money I was saving to buy medicine for the town's people. I know you've already risked your life once already, but I heard the mutants talking about another attack. They'll probably be here soon. Really? Th that's great! I'll let everyone know. You're a real hero, you know that? Our hero returns! Wow, I can't believe that you were able to help Time Bomb. In here, I was sure that you were ready to just let him die. I guess I had you wrong. He still can't fight, but if we survive for a bit longer, he should be back into it soon enough. Look, you're a better doc than me, that's pretty obvious. But if you need healing, I'll do it for you no charge. For you, no problem. Now. Hold still. See, that wasn't so bad. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, that. I know all about that nonsense. Flash isn't the smartest cookie in the jar, but he deserved better than Bittercup. She wouldn't be so bad if she just faced reality instead of doing that whole spooky girl routine. Sure can. Quick and easy. Only a hundred caps. And a quick shot. All done. Yep, as long as you've still got the ass to sit down on, I can fix you up. I'm also in the market for medical supplies. Big town? A fairy tale, really. The lamplighters who turn 16 aren't allowed to stay in the caves, but they have to go somewhere. And to encourage people to leave, they invented Big Town, the great grown-up place that you got to go to when you became an adult. I think you can see how true those stories were. Be careful. Watch the wastes. There's nothing here but the stench of death. The injury. Don't be distracted by the size. Stay calm. Shoot straight.
another soul to add my... Circle of Darkness. Place gets worse all watch the wastes. I'm starting to feel safe for the first time in a long time. Thanks to you. Thanks. Have you come to talk to me? I think I'm going to build a little shrine to you. All I need is some incense sticks and candles. I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. Not like there's any place to buy stuff. Don't you judge me. It's not my fault that the only guys in this town are liars and jerks. Oh, you can't break up with me. We're all going to die soon. Well, duh. Why do you think I'm breaking up with you? When I die, the last thing I want to worry about in my afterlife is breaking up with my once alive boyfriend. Priorities. Don't be a stranger. 
again, America. This is John Henry Eden, hey, your president. We did it! You did it! You helped us defeat the mutants! Oh, we'll all feel safer now. Thank you so much. The issue at hand is... Sure, here's what I can spare. The question has been raised, I know, as to just how I came to be elected to this most illustrious office. Or whether or not I had been elected at all. To that I must answer, of course. Of course I was elected, sweet America. Of course. This is the right, world, the very foundation of a democracy. Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. You understand. But rest assured, I am your president, because the appropriate people of this great nation decided I should be. I am your duly elected representative. Of course, when the time comes, when my turn is up, America will be free to elect a new president. And that person will have our full faith and confidence and carry our collective values forward. Into the future. A pleasure Democracy, doing business with America. Democracy now. Yeah, you need something?
It's good to see you alive. Any luck finding out how Riven- Good hunting! Don't try anything. Things are going well with you today, sir. Wake up, Wasteland! 